what it do, what it do, you too. Thank you guys for joining your boy on another little vlog through the hood. On a nice little uh, sunny South Florida day. Just getting a little seat time, man. You should know. Actually, I was a little worried about my bike, man. I had left it idling for a second. It was about maybe five minutes. Maybe a little longer. I was just BSing. And all of a sudden, the bike just cut off. And I was like, well, damn, why did it do that? Maybe it just got too hot. I heard the fan running. So that's the only thing I could think of while it might have turned off. So I don't know if the bikes turn off if it gets too hot, if it ain't going nowhere. I don't know. Y'all know that. Hit me up. Let me know. Let me know what could have been the problem. Cause I, yeah, it had to be maybe five minutes, you know, and the bike was idling. I kind of hear the fan running now. Everybody's doing good. Staying safe. This y'all first time checking out your boy. I am a beginner. Only been riding for about two years. Well, I only been riding these small, so the slower bikes for two years. But yeah, you know, my reason for vlogging today, man, I just got a question for all the riders out there. Maybe in certain states, maybe just in Florida. Like, I would like to know, man, like how much, you know, people be actually paying in um, motorcycle insurance. You know, I just got my um, my motorcycle insurance going to be starting. You basically descent, well, from, from this December to next December, well, renewing. And I just got a question, man, like, my motorcycle insurance for the year is damn near $1,000, like $9.78 or something like that. It, it, all I know is I'm about to be paying like $75 or $78 a month, and that's for the year. And it equaled like over $900, almost $1,000. And I was just like, what? And I mean, for the last maybe three months out of the year, I was paying like a like a buck 25 buck 30 and I was like all right I guess they just basically kind of prorated it just for you know a couple of months or something but now that I'm getting it you know I'm thinking I'm like well damn yo how $78 or $75 a month for motorcycle insurance now it is top notch you know full coverage everything is like you know full full coverage I don't know if that makes a difference. Well, I know it makes a difference, but I mean, I'm paying, you know. And then I, I've, I've heard, you know, people online and stuff like that. They say, yo, they paying like, you know, $30. I mean, like $500 a year or $600 a year, you know, for insurance, for motorcycle insurance. And I, st I start thinking like, well, I guess that ain't that bad, you know. Or, you know, people be paying like $20 a month and you know or six hundred dollars a year and I'm just like alright well I guess that ain't crazy but I never heard nobody you know say they paying damn near a thousand dollars a year and I mean I'm only I'm only I ain't on no you know no one thousand no six hundred no crazy you know high powered speed demon my record is uh, great. My record is great and everything like that. So I don't know why, you know, I ain't no little jit. I ain't young. So I'm just like, man, damn, why is my, my motorcycle insurance so crazy? 75 or 78, something like that a month. You know, do y'all think that is, you know, is that high? 
to be paying almost a thousand dollars a year for the 12 months because I'm, I'm telling you I'm hearing people talk about how they just be paying you know fifteen dollars a month stuff like that so I don't know if that's actually a good thing or a bad thing or I don't know and I'm on a you know I'm only on a 300 cc I ain't on the 600 the 1000 or you know no boost or nothing like that where I know that the uh, rates go up and they be crazy I did hear about one time man this one guy he was a younger kid though I think it was in another state where he was paying like almost $200 a month for um, for motorcycle insurance but you know I think he was under 25 and he was on a, like a, a 600 so I already know them rates is going to be up there but shoot I don't know why my rates would be at like that I mean it ain't that it ain't crazy I mean it's definitely a big drop from you know like one something what they had me at last few months but I don't know man let me know man let me know what what might be um, expensive for you guys and what state you might be in I mean like I say I'm in Florida I don't know if the rates are higher or are they you know lower but for motorcycle insurance but yeah yo and I got full coverage like I don't know, I think I'm covered to like a hundred racks or something like that, a hundred grand. So, y'all let me know. Y'all tell me if that's, you know, 75 or $75 a month. Is that too high? Yeah, it was just true. I just got the little, uh, little statement, you know, showing up my renewal of my insurance and and they talking about I'm getting a discount also because I got it, you know, my home is covered underneath, you know, it's like a, not a bundle, but it's covered also under it. I don't got everything under it. Like, I don't got my car with the same insurance. Just my, um, my home insurance and my, uh, motorcycle insurance. Actually, no, no, let me scratch that. It's only my motorcycle insurance. Yeah. Only my motorcycle insurance that they're talking about. And that's what's actually like $75 or $78 a month. Coming out to be about nine and some change or $900 or almost a thousand actually for the for the 12 months. And I was just telling my wife, I'm like, yo, that can't be right. I mean, I'm telling you, man, me only being on the 300 should not be that amount. Especially when I'm hearing people talk about how they only paying twenty dollars, fifteen dollars a month. But she was telling me like, oh, it could just be because I got full coverage. Stuff like that. I gotta fix this mic. I hope you guys can hear me. my camera was uh, recording correctly but yeah that's what that's basically what I was vlogging about today on this uh, man it's nice as hell outside today too man it's only like maybe 75 75 degrees but the sun is out so it's a little bit warmer and it's not humid at all perfect perfect riding weather I got up today and I was you know I got up today and I was um, you know I was in my car and I see that everybody I see the I see at least 40 50 people in the city motorcycles and it's Sunday also you know a lot of people like to get up early Sunday and they you know they go ride but the day was a little bit on you know more than usual so I had to get on out here and just get a little cruise in and get a little vlog and let you guys know what's popping too but yeah that was just the question man that I had 
much is uh you know what is too much for motorcycle insurance is 75 dollars too much a month because it sounds expensive to me considering i i hear everybody else and how much they might be pay, uh, paying but yeah man y'all hit me up in the comments man let me know let me know what what's too much man like how much motorcycle insurance should be and like i say i'm in florida so i know the rates be changing from state to state and i know it also changes from you know your age and your uh, driving history but hey mine is straight my driving record is great well great for the last maybe 10 15 years so but anyways man that's all i really wanted to chop it up with you guys about so um y'all hit me on up man let me know what's good till next time man don't forget to uh like comment subscribe and please please y'all just hit me uh subscribe man and you know chop it up with me but um i'm a holler peace